Many teenagers out there, the next milestone is getting their driver's license after matric. We're talking about one particular teen that has already achieved more than I think most adults. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of most adults have behind the wheel. We are talking about Jordan Pepper, who is about to take our Brett around Swartkorp's raceway to show off some truly insane skills. Take a look. 19-year-old Jordan Pepper has represented South Africa in motorsports since his early teens and won the Sirocco R Cup Championship in Germany last year. Jordan, you started driving at a very young age. How did you get involved in motor racing? Motorsports has been something that's run in the family. Since my great-grandpa used to race in England, then my grandpa, my dad raced, and from that I grew up at the racetrack. I think it's just something that's in my blood. It's something that I live for, and without racing, I, I wouldn't be living. The adrenaline action that you get out of motorsport, just the focus as well, it's just the, and the feeling that you playing playing on the edge and so-called playing with your life, because motorsport is quite dangerous, that I think gives you that extra adrenaline. Jordan, you've achieved a lot at such a young age. How much do you have to put in to make sure that you're on top of your game? During my schooling years, I had to sacrifice a lot, and still today with training and not being able to go out with your friends. But for me, I would do it over and over again. If you had to give me a restart, I'd do exactly the same. I, I don't regret anything, and like I said, motorsport's my life, so that, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. To further his racing career, Jordan moved to the small town of Kempton in Germany alone, fresh out of high school. His focus and determination have been integral in his success and developing his level of maturity. I'm very proud of Jordan. He's always loved motor racing and it's been his passion for a very, very long time. And what he's achieved is amazing. His dedication and his commitment for him to move overseas at 18 years old all by himself and to live there I'm incredibly proud of him. Moving overseas has definitely been tough since it's the first time I've left the house and going to Europe is where everything's got to be made. And it's a small sacrifice that I've had to make to pursue my career and I've enjoyed every minute of it so far. And when it comes to your training, what do you focus on? It is quite a physical sport. You're pulling heavy Gs and you're in the car with a lot of heat for quite a long time. So the biggest thing you have to focus on is your, your cardio to last for long periods of time. You've got to have a still bit of upper body strength and core strength, which is quite important to physically maneuver the car, as well as uh, leg strength for braking. You, you've got to push the brake pedal over 150 bars most of the time, so it becomes quite a lot when, you, when you're racing out there for an hour or so. Jordan now races in a category of GT3 supercars, which any driver would find enviable. And he was selected to be part of the FIA Institute Young Driver Excellence Academy. Well, we've heard a lot about Jordan's accomplishments, but I think it's time for me now to experience firsthand what he can do. Let's see what you got. had no idea just how fast Jordan is capable of driving, but eventually did enjoy the drive with a young man who dreams of racing in the DTM circuit, German equivalent of NASCAR. One thing that I learned this year when I was in Chamonix at the FI Academy, for every mountain you get, when you get up to the top and you stand at that peak, there's another mountain ahead of you to climb. So you must never be satisfied for what you've achieved. You must always aim higher and, and dream bigger and just work your way up. Jordan proved that with hard work and dedication, you can pursue your dreams and you can be your own driving force to victory. I can't wait to see what this youngster is going to achieve in the future.